What's up guys, Corvusme5 here and welcome to another episode of my Pokemon Bloom Let's Play series. And on this episode we are heading to Cinnabar Island. As you can see I've got us to Pallet Town already. And yeah, so this is the current team. I'll do a quick run through. We've got Ruby with Starter and Ivysaur level 31. One more level till she evolves. Got Mr. Rossetti who is a Duck Trio level 35. Hope to get. Uh, oh, I'm looking forward to him learning Earthquake. We've got Pira the Vulpix, who at level 35 will learn Flamethrower. We have Pokemon we're about to use, which is Velarmo, the um, Vaporeon, which has Surf. We've got Lindbergh the Flying Vero, who's our strongest Pokemon. And we're also taking Cotton along with us. Because I think she'll be the most useful of my remaining three Pokemon against the next gem. We're going to use Surf. And there's Tangler here, but I don't really care for Tangler. What I actually want to do is get some experience for Ruby. Because she's falling behind a bit. Let's just run from the tentacle. It's not going to give us much experience. That's ball fishman, guys. You want to know if the fish are biting? Sure. Tell me all about it. The fisherman wants to fight. He sends out a sea king. Which Ruby should be able to take care of. Hopefully. Hopefully this will be a two-hit kill. It's not. There's a three hit KO. Which is okay. It does mean I'm gonna probably have to use a fresh water to heal myself. Why am I using Venuip when I have Razor Leaf now? It's better than Venuip in every way. We go for the tackle just to finish off the Sea King. I'm pretty sure I'm correct in saying that Vinewood is better, I mean Razor Leaf is Oh, why did I use Tackle? That Razor Leaf is better than Vinewood in every single way? Pretty sure that's correct then. Oh, pretty sure they both have 90 accuracy. But um, Razor Leaf has like 15 more base power. Plus a high crit ratio, which I don't think Vinewood does have. It has a very similar animation. Once you get rid of the leaves. Wow! Two Razor Leaf misses in three attempts. What is its actual accuracy? Because I'm pretty sure it's like 55 base power and 95 accuracy in later generations. It might only be like 70 accuracy or something. For some crazy reason. We did just go to level 32 however. Which means that there's an evolution in store for us now. Um, we will go out into Cotton. Because she is our second lowest Pokemon. And we'll go for the Body Slam. A three hit KO, and the best move they have is Peck, apparently. Because the thing about Generation 1 that I believe is true is that the opponents will always try and go for super effective moves. Because there was a way where if you used a certain Pokemon against Lance, you could get. And we now have a Venusaur. And as I was just saying, if you use a certain Pokemon against Lance, he always uses agility against you and he won't actually go for an attacking move, which is really strange. I think we're going to keep with Ruby. I want to say how she does as a Venusaur. Nala Fisherman and six Pokemon, Magikarp, yeah. <sighs> One of the worst back sprites. 
In Pokemon history, this Venusaur, of course. At least in one shot. It gives so little experience. It's not even worth it. I may as well try and get Velamo, I mean not Velamo, Pure at uh, level 35. They only have Splash, I don't think they even get Tackle in Gen 1, do they? Not sure. Yeah, they do. Good. They don't get Flail, though. Almost certain of that. There we go. Critical hit. No, thank you. I'll happily two-shot Magikarps if I get critical hits constantly. No. Oh. Like, even their tackles are pathetic. They do three damage. And I'm not physically bulky. I know, I want, I want to check how much she needs for the next level. Let's just go Lindbergh. Lindbergh will probably be able to one-shot without the chance of a miss. Why do grass moves suck so much in Gen 1? My best grass move is Leaf Blade. Just is. This 90 power, high critical hit ratio, 100 accuracy, and it's Septile's signature move. Or at least it was unique to the Septile line for one generation. <laughs> at least. Maybe two. I can't remember. Was there any point on Gen 4 that learned Leaf Blade? I think that. Leafeon got Leaf Blade in Gen 4. I mean, Grass is my favourite typing as well, so... Like, if I was to be a gym leader, I would be a Grass-type gym leader. Okay, get me to... Cinnabar Island as quickly as possible now with a lot more. We will come back off-camera and battle all these trainers. Because I want to get started on the Pokemon Mansion today. Seeing as how you have to go through that just to get in the gym. Of course, this is the place where you can catch Missing No over this side. And we will head to the Pokemon Centre. Heal off. And then I suppose we'll head into the Pokemon Mansion. I will check the gym just in case I'm forgetting something and it is actually open. What's this building? This is the fossil resurrection place. Gym. The door is locked. Then you get kicked away. Okay. Pokemon Mansion then. use. Definitely going to need that, because I'm going to get lost. Well, that's not the way to go, I know that. I'm pretty sure you go this way. Escape rope. Um, you go this way. You hit this. These always annoyed me, because I couldn't, you can't hit them from the side, I'm pretty sure. And I think you go over here. This is entirely from... Okay, don't go that way. I was going to say, this is entirely from memory. Apparently I need to work on my memory. There's a door that needs a key to open. Oh no, it doesn't. It uses the thing, doesn't it? The... Okay, Ponyta, level 34. It's Pira, level 34. I'm pretty sure they win. Critical hit. First turn critical hit. Always helpful. But don't don't use confuse ray. I keep doing that, I keep double tapping. Or 
we gonna cripple it that time. Now I'm fine with double tapping because I'll take it out. Use tail whip. Come on, hit yourself. I'll take yourself out. Ooh, that's gonna do a lot. No, it didn't do that much. We did like what double what Embo was doing. Should have been using that from the start. Need to use a fresh water now. Yeah, I don't remember this place anywhere near as well as I thought I did. I was convinced you had to go through there. I may have to push Lindbergh at the front. Especially against stuff like Weezings, where I kind of need to run away before they explode. Okay, I don't know the way around here. Maybe it's, you switch that, and then you go up the floor, and then you go down here. July 5th, Guyana, South America. A new Pokemon was discovered deep in the jungle. So that was Mew, and it was discovered by um, Jesse's mom, who is called Miyamoto. Well, according to the anime canon, anyway. Oh yeah. This place is like huge. And you want a ball, but you didn't want a ball when I was just standing in front of you. Because you had burglar. You have the Pokemon I'm going to get in a second. Once Pira gets Flamethrower. It's kind of sad that all the random trainers have Pokemon higher levels than me. Let's go for the Surf. Hopefully it'll be... Two shot. I doubt it'll be a one shot. Yeah, it wasn't. And now we can go for the wire gun to conserve PP. Definitely take it out, and there we go. Nine Tails has been fainted. Fortunately, Pira didn't get to 35. So I shouldn't have done that switch. That's a. Oh, there's a switch there. Yeah, what's this switch do? Oh, well, this does this one. When you do this one, it opens that bit. This always confused me as a kid. It always took me like an hour to get through the Bugman Mansion. Is this, this should open this bomb one, yeah. And then you have to go down this side. This was the part I could never remember. If it was the left hand side or the right hand side. A Magnemite. We'll see how Puracon um, does against the Magnemite. That's a decent amount. It was a crit, that's why. Right. Get another one. Get another one here then. Okay, don't, not you, my mate. Pira, get a crit. It's not a crit for that. Come on. Try and come in, come on. Look at that. Take out that, my mate. Good girl. Pira goes to 35. Pira wants to learn flamethrower. Yes, good. Yes. Get rid of Raw. Um... We will change Pokemon. 
We'll get um, cotton some levels. Got the body slams. Ooh, we'll go with the paralysis first turn. And the fully paralyzed as well. It doesn't affect me. I don't know why you went for it. Maybe generation two where the opponents only go for super effective moves if they have one. Of Wolthor, sure, Cotton can live in a uh, self destruct if it comes down to that. No, she can't. There we go. We have speed tie, really. Level 33. And we defeat the scientist. And I think we are going to try and take this. Staircase. Please be the right one. I think it was. Okay, it definitely was not. That was the wrong way. Now I remember, you have to... Yeah. It's annoying because you have to redo all the switches. I should switch out Pira. I mean, none of my Pokemon are high enough level to dissuade this level 37 Weezing. But... I suppose it doesn't matter then. Let's go up here. Now on this floor, we'll use this. So it's the other, it's this side. That always tricked me as a kid. I mean, it's tricked me today as well. But it always used to trick me as a kid because it would always be like, well, this one's harder to get to, so it's obviously this one. Go down here, and this is where the book with Mew in it is, isn't it? In this room. This is the one that mentions Mew 2, I think, yeah. No, September 1st, Mew 2 is far too powerful. We failed to curb its vicious tendencies. TM14, which is Blizzard? Sure. Vulpix. So this is the other place you can catch Vulpix. Of course this one is the perfect level. I believe you can... No, you can't catch Ditto here yet, can you? Is that the later games? Now I believe down here there is an item I want to get first before I use the switch. I'm going to put Lindberg at the front just so I can avoid these battles. I believe there's an item in here I want to get. A red candy, yeah. Then I want to do the switch. Team 22, Solar Beam. And then, Secret Key. So now we can use the Escape Rope. And, if you notice here, a little special something that I have prepared. See so yeah. ya! And that's going to be the end of this episode, guys. So on the next episode, we are going to use the item you may, you may have, the item I just pointed out in my inventory on Pira, 
and then we are going to take on the Cinema Island Gym. So I'll see you then guys, if you've enjoyed this episode, make sure to like and make sure to subscribe to the channel for me, Corvus95. Thank you guys so much for watching and goodbye.